do, 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 do. All right. It says zero, zero, two seconds. So I'm thinking we're live. Hey, hey. what's up, Miss Robin? Hi. I'm so happy to see you today. How yes, are you? I'm good. Good. Ready to craft. I was just going to ask. You took it right out of, you took the words out of my mouth. I was like, are we ready to get creative today? Absolutely. <laughs> Yay. I'm ready to get creative. Give everybody a few minutes to come in and then we can, we'll kind of move on. As always on Saturday lives, we do have a goodie bag giveaway. So Ooh. if you like the video, well, like it and share it and tag a friend in it. And I will put your name on that big wheel that spins at the end of the video. You remember that wheel? Yeah. Your name will be on it. So the last prize was fantastic. I saw that <laughs> posted. I did. I saw that. Yeah. I love it when they take the time to take a photo of, uh, of it and, you know, show it because it's always fun because it makes me feel giddy. You know what I mean? It's almost like I got it. But I yes. didn't get it. I'm just like, oh, hey, look at all the goodies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, Miss Robin, would you like to tell us just a little bit about wh what we're in store for today while we wait for, you know, a few more, you know, to come in? Sure, sure. Yes. Yeah, so I have a friend and she does. She has the Glow Forge. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it cuts wood. And so she's always cutting things. And so I said, hey, cut some wood for me. But, you know, they're cute. I mean, they're just little craft kits, kind of. But, you know, they're boring. So we're going to jazz it up and make it. We're going to DQ it. That's what I call it. Decoupage queen it. it. I love it. We're going to DQ, DQ jazz. We're going to use some jazzy DQ. Wait. Yes. It's the pit art stuff and all that fun stuff. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yes. I have that and then I have a little ornament if we have time, we'll see. <laughs> and if you guys are on Facebook and if you're coming back as Facebook user, um, I'll put the link up here um, at streamyard.com. You have to give them permission. I know, I know. It's a pain in the body, but we have to do it, you know, because you gotta give them permission. So just in case anyone, um, there's the link there for you. Um, but for now, I think we have enough people here. I think we're good to get to go. Get it, yeah, get her going. Get her going. Well, and of well, course, you can find any of the products that that she is using today, um, either in her store or any of the many, many, many DQ retailers around. If you have any questions about um, any of them, I do have the link up so I can maybe kind of help y'all or whatnot while we're here. But for now. I want to see what Miss Robin is doing. So let us. <laughs> let us. Well, I will bring my camera down to give y'all a good view. All right. So what I decided to do with my little plain old craft kit here is this paper is beautiful. So this is the A3 size of Home for the Holidays. And I was like, ooh, this would be a great fat ground with a truck, you know? Super cool, right? So this is my little truck. And so we're going to infuse these together. So I, I know. So everybody knows you basically take your background and you have to paint it white. I think everybody knows that just so you get the best color possible. So I've painted this white. And then what I, what you do, and I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to tell y'all you take, I use the decoupage, uh, the pit art product. I love this stuff. And you put a layer on there and then you put this on here. Actually, I, I think I have time to do this right quick. I think you did. You. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like that. Yeah. Just like, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to get it. Done. Yeah. Let's get yeah. it done. I already did the big one like ahead of time, you know, so I have a little bit of time. Oh, right. You know, awesome. got a print. We planners, you know. So anyway, I put a coat on there and then I'm just going to kind of strategically decide where I want. And of course, remember where my little hanger is. So my trees aren't like sideways. That wouldn't be fun, would it? Right. And see, I like how you're using the paper other than in its original form, shall I say. That's probably the best way to put it. Like you're altering it, you're taking it in pieces and using it 
and putting it where it, it needs to be on your on your piece. Yeah. Never throw away cool. paper. Ever throw, <laughs> never, ever throw away paper. That's my husband. <laughs> He's always on with me. Everybody loves him. He's awesome. <laughs> Hello, Joy Barach. How are you? Linda Baker, how you doing? <laughs> okay, so this is a trick. Because, okay, so let's just pretend, you know, that I that I did this one the same. So I decoupage my paper down, and then I have um, – I have that on there and then what i did is i just sanded it off with my handy dandy sander along the edges so when that one dries i'll do that but i've already prepped this piece so now i'm going to move on to all the little wood pieces which can be kind of intimidating right because you got all these little wood pieces so all of that comes in a kit yeah everything that you've got is separate pieces in a kit yeah right so anyway um i am this is a little trick I put tape down on this Ziploc bag or whatever you have. If you have a box or whatever, I put tape down and I'm going to literally decide what color I'm painting my letters. And I'm going to just start laying them down on this sticky side of this tape because I don't want to be chasing my letters all over the place. Right. This happens. It'll be crazy. Oh my goodness. Genius. Genius. Right. Robin. Why have I, I thought of that? Like I'm over here embossing letters and doing things like that. And they're just running away and I've got to get my tweezers. Genius. Now you don't have to worry about that at all. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, I, listen, I'm like, I can't be chasing these letters all over the place. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this. And look, my little M is broken, bless it, but it's okay. Cause when we glue it down, it won't matter. No, no, it won't matter. We've got It'll Chris okay. Harding today for the first time. She's watching for the first time. Well, thanks well, for joining um, us, Chris. So I'm, I'm deciding to, so this is my black. And then this is going to be my green down there because I'm deciding, you know, oh, I'm sticking to my, my tape. And then I'm going to do my green down here. There is a lot of little pieces of this. And then red. And then these are going to be silver. So I'm just going to set them to the side. And this is red. And then this is going to be a bunch of different colors. So I think I've got a good base. Now, one thing that I love, these little kits are at Home Depot. And they're, y'all, they're $2 and something. And you can watch them if you want to. Or you can just throw them in the trash like I do. Because <laughs> I hate washing stuff. <laughs> I hate it. I, I do. Are you, are you not a stencil washer either then? Oh, no, no, no. We're a stencil washer. Yeah, but oh, okay. We do wash stencils. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we definitely wash stencils. All right. This is just a black paint. Um, I have a paint line, so I just use one of my black paints. So this is um, just a black paint. And I'm just going to get enough paint on my roller to get these letters. And we just hope I brought enough with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because we're coming yes. live from somewhere else. Yeah. Not at not All right. A, not Can y'all see sure. that? Like, okay, so I'm just rolling this on here. How easy, right? And look at that tape oh. holding on to those letters. Look at that. Are you jealous, Jessica? Look at that. She, Beautiful, right? She's using Super easy. Brayer even. Like what like 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 who thinks to use their brayer to even <laughs> Well, it comes this little kit comes with this little thing here. So oh you get goodness. the you okay, get the tray okay, with so that. Pretty cool, up. huh? The, oh, okay. It looked like a brayer. It does. It does look yeah. brayer. Yeah. And then I'm going to do a green one. I'm going to do a green one here. Well, the great thing about these is they do have a lid on them, so you can actually put the lid on them, and it keeps your paint for a few days. Um, you know, so if you're working on something and you want to stop, you can um, you can do that. The little so. kit does. That's yeah, the little kit has a lid. That's awesome. Thank you, that's Sue. Awesome. Sue said that's a genius idea. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So I'm just getting some green on my little paintbrush here. Now I'll highlight this too, because we can't just have plain old green trees, right? We got to add some, um, you know, definitions. So um, this is just my base coat there. And then we have red. Now red um, is going to be the truck. So it's a lot of pieces that are going to be red. This bow is going to be red. Um, the fenders are going to be red. So it's your typical Christmas red truck. Yeah, you got to have a red truck, right? Right. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, and I've got a third tray for my red. 
Laura, you didn't know this because hardly many people knew this about the, the tape thing. So I don't even know where we discovered it. I made it up. Oh, you made it up. Okay. <laughs> Robin takes full credit Listen. for the tape thing. All right. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't know me. Like, I come from a management background, and it's, I have a lot of Six Sigma training, and it's like work, work smarter, not harder, right? So I'm always trying to think of ways. Like, how can I work smarter, not harder? All right, so we're going to get our red on here. We have a Super we have easy, Susie right? from Denmark is with us now. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome, for sure. All right, you guys, I'm just painting this up. I'll probably do a little yellow on my headlight, but, you know, I can go ahead and do red, and I can do yellow later and add all the details, you know. So this is just face coating things. Mary Casey said you're a genius, but we already knew that. <laughs> Y'all funny. <laughs> Y'all funny. Um, <laughs> I appreciate the help. I do. Right? Wrong? Okay. I'm, 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 I'm. So I've got that done and I'm going to let that dry a minute. And then I'm going to focus on this. Okay. So look, see that at the bottom and this deer. Okay. One of the things for sure that's going to happen when I put my truck down, the truck is going to run into the deer. You know what I'm saying? And we don't really want to be have a run over deer in our picture, right? It happens a lot in our day. No. No. I mean, you know, we don't want to do that. So <laughs> I am going to I'm gonna hide the deer because I can't I can't have him in my picture. <laughs> like no. I love him, but I can't have him. No, so he's gonna disappear. But I know, I know it's sad, but you know, it's better than him getting run over. Right. I get it. I get it. But yeah, no, I don't want to run over. No, I appreciate yeah, so, that. I do. So I you, appreciate that. So, what are you so, doing I'm just, so I just took a chip brush and I put a little bit of paint, kind of like dry brushing, but I'm just dabbing. So we love the chip brushes. So I'm just dabbing. Yeah. So I'm just dabbing to make the poor deer disappear, right? Disappear <laughs> deer. <laughs> And so I'm just dabbing my white and I'm just going to blend it up here. And then I'm going to come back in with some gray. It's called Charlotte gray. It's one of my favorite grays. It's kind of a neutral gray. And I'm going to come back with that. Um, okay. Blend it in with it. Yeah, that's blue. That won't work. We, we don't need any blue. What, what was the name of your paper again? What's that? Um, home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. This is the big size, yeah. I, d I don't know if it can be purchased in the UK, can it? Um, Jessica, do you know? The truck. I believe she's talking about the wood piece. I could be oh, wrong. Oh, oh, um, wrong. Oh, no. We, that, no it's we, just a Glowforge kit. So if you know somebody that does Glowforge I'm in the sorry. UK, I mean, I have it here in the United States, but, um, you know, the shipping, I'm happy to, you know, if you want to message me to try to see if I can get it to you for a reasonable price. Um, but it is a Glowforge um, file, I guess, is what they call it. I don't know anything about the Glowforge. So, all right. Um, Shari was say i believe she's talking about your your dabbing um she's saying like there are no bristles stripes on there using this method or, or maybe she was talking about the brushes these are chip maybe. brushes yeah yeah the, the rollers the rollers oh, definitely yes. no striping on the with the rollers no it's super clean super clean super right clean. Okay. okay and that's the great thing about these rollers is it gives you a good base coat right yeah, and I got red on my green tree, but that's okay. It's okay. It's probably going to be a little bit red on it anyway. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, now, y'all, can y'all see that? No more deer. Our deer oh, has disappeared. He's gone. Bless. It's okay. We know he's under there. He's ran off into the woods. That's what we're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For Peter's sake. We yeah. Gotta say, yeah. All right. So I'm going to take a little uh, dryer. Now, this, I do have. Um, plastic okay and it's gonna be loud for a minute okay but i'm gonna dry my little wood pieces for a minute and jessica can entertain you <laughs> i can i can totally yes i can totally entertain you i actually just went and got the link for the rice paper that you used and if there um if there is anything that you use that i can um get the link from your shop um for i i am more than happy to 
um, help out that way as well, of course. And if I know there are some people who are here that are not in the U.S., we have a ton of of um, retailers overseas as well. They're uh, they are on the uh, under the retailers on the website. I can put up the link for that really quick there. So, but yes. I wonder if she's going to create, it looks kind of like snow. What do y'all think? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm seeing some snow. Oh picture. girl, I got snow, snow, oh, snow, snow. snow. <laughs> we do have snow in our future. I was yeah. thinking, I, was, I had a stinking sister and I didn't even know y'all, I didn't. I swear I didn't know, I was guessing. <laughs> well, the Dutch people is scrap right. Scrap, scrap. <laughs> Okay. okay. So, there we go. So here's my truck. So now I'm going to try to, I'm going to place my pieces down and I'm going to decide how I want them. So this is my front here. Um, this is my um, fender here. And I'm going to go ahead and use express glue and I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces on so they can be drying. Okay. Here. So I'm just going to kind of assemble my truck a little bit I missed that a little bit but that's okay it'll dry clear it'll dry clear so i'm not worried about it and if not we'll just dab it with a little red anyway probably better if i put it on this don't you think yeah that would be yeah there you go that would be better oh let me put some on here oh we have a creative friend from holland as well i don't want to say your name because i'm I, I don't want to butcher your name. I I, I, have, a, I have the same problem too. Yeah, I was I was going to be welcome, but I was like, I don't, I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for being We're, here. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. And we're going to just go ahead and put our little wreath on our truck and this little bow goes on there. So I'm just assembling what I can. This is a pretty, uh, pretty cool little uh, kit there that we sell. Um, yeah. And, you know, I don't know if y'all know Glowforge, but Glowforge is amazing stuff. Yes. All right. So I'm going to let that dry just a second. And then I'm going to go to here. Um, this is OK. So these are the railings of the truck. And y'all know old trucks like, you know, the wood railing is is wood, right? It's not painted, really. Stained. Yeah, it's sort of a stain. Um, so let me find I brought this glaze. Um, this is one of my favorite glazes. It's like called Van Dyke Brown, but you could use whatever you have. It's like um, anything that you can stain. You can even use watered down acrylic brown paint if you want to. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to stain my wood here. Beautiful, beautiful, easy. So that way you're not using multiple colors of paint because it like a year or two ago, I would have just used different colors of paint to create a stained look. So that's free. That's awesome. That's really that's fabulous. Yeah, and just, you know, using what you have, you know, is is fine. I mean, we all spend a lot of money on craft supplies. So right. Sometimes you're just like, let me yeah. water down some of my brown paint, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. I have a two-part exactly. garage of, that's my craft room. Yeah. <laughs> Mine, too. Mine is a one-car garage, so I feel you, girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm just deciding my placement of my truck, and I think I kind of like it right here. Like, I think I like it, you know, kind of hanging out right here in front of the house, right? Super yeah. cool. Yes. I love All right. It. Yep. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to glue my truck down, and then I'm going to glue my wheels down. So I'm going to put some glue on my truck, and I mean, you can use, I'm using express glue, you know, I'm going to live. So ooh, I just dropped it on there. Um, but you could use whatever you like. Um, you could use hot glue, but I always say hot glue when you, people store their um, Christmas stuff out like in a storage building. And if, if glue gets 
if hot glue gets cold then gets hot it it releases so then you're going to open up your little truck next year and you're going to be like oh my gosh it's all apart do it all over again you're gonna have to glue everything back so it's better just to be, have a little patience and use a liquid glue in my opinion that's just my opinion yeah, Sue I, was right. I does not laugh after freezing for sure. No, I completely agree with that. Yeah, freezing, I would think that would chip and like um, away, like it would. Yeah, the consistent, the science behind it doesn't yeah. make. Yeah, it doesn't make. Yeah, so freezing is not okay either. So extreme yeah. temperatures, just in general, extreme temperatures and metal. I think a lot of people in the beginning when crafting, you know, the, it, it's slick surfaces. Do, yeah, no, hot glue and slick surfaces like metal, plastic, anything like, no, no, it'll either melt it or it'll just come right away. No problem. <laughs> Products have advanced so much uh, lately, though, in the crafting world, uh, taking all of those things into account, the, the temperature changes, uh, what they're going to be used for, the type of product that you're going to put them on top of whether it's a slick surface or not so a lot of a lot of these products have, have really gotten really better uh and adhering to the surfaces so one thing i am going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of yellow to my um to my headlight here just because it's going to take a couple coats to hot you know over the red but I'll go ahead and add one and then I'll come back to it. And for my middle of my tires, I didn't really want to do white because I feel like it would blend into the background. So I did silver. So, and that's going to take a couple coats as well. So I'm going to, I'm working on that over up. here. Okay. So we can start placing our Merry Christmas up here. And let's see, let's just get all our letters off our tape. I've got them stuck to the tape. And then place them. I always say, pl like, plan before you glue. Because it never fails. You'll think you know. And then you're like, oh, that word was longer than I thought it was. And it's oh. a mess. Oh, yes. I've made that mistake far too many times before. I don't ever glue anything down until everything is altered, ready. And then I can start piecing, assembling. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This Christmas, it's really long. And then check your spelling too, if it's worth it. Definitely check your spelling. <laughs> you don't want a Chris Sam going up there. Yeah. Because it can yeah. be disastrous. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. That's looking a good cute, one. Oh. It's looking cute. Let me leave this over here so I can get back down here. I okay, so love it. It's so cute, right? Love it, yes. And I'm going to show y'all what you could do with this. Um, there's so many options, really, but um, I'm going to show you a really good thing that I like to do with this. This is a 10-inch round kit, and then the ornament is a 4-inch ornament kit. So, but this decoupage paper, I think it's from last year, but it's super cool. I think that's pretty centered. What do y'all think? I'm looking at it upside down, so what y'all think? I think Look. it's centered. Let's see what what our what our friends say. Let's see. Yeah. Anybody, anybody um see that the truck it does it look uncentered at all? Anyone? I don't or the know. Merry I Christmas. The I, Merry Christmas. I think you're looking good. I think you're looking really the good. The Merry Christmas looking yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. think so. I think so. All right. I'm going ahead and put my trees in too while I'm while I'm waiting on y'all to vote. Jessica, I don't know about you, but I do a lot of interactive voting on, on my lives. I'm like, y'all decide it's this or this, and then everybody gets to choose. And I, except for me, I get outvoted a lot. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, no, actually, yeah. I do. I do. <laughs> Whenever I do lives, I will ask for um, like color input or like, um, yes, other things like that. I'll be like, hey, this chipboard or that chipboard and yes so absolutely i like to be interactive though because then they feel like they're you know like they're contributing or they're you know what i mean that you yeah know, well and a lot of times i don't know about you but my my group is they're way more creative these, these guys are so good they're so good <laughs> we're just learning from them we're learning from them more than, than they're learning from us really yeah 
Yeah, I kind of been doing this long. I don't know if you know Jane Bell. Um, she retired, and I kind of over, took over a little bit of her. Thank what she you, was doing. Uh, so I, I'm. I started my business in May. In May. Yeah. Chris says she has my back on a lot of stuff, and she does. Gonna, she has my <laughs> back on a lot of stuff. <laughs> I was gonna put it up there. I'm like, look, <laughs> somebody's got your back. <laughs> <laughs> got you. <laughs> that Chris Montoy? That's Chris Montoy. Oh. That is our yep. Chris Montoy. Yeah. yeah so sweet. Well, they're all they're all brilliant people too. Yeah, I've been very blessed by the craft community. I can, I mean, honestly, it just has been. It really has been a blessing. Just all the people I've got to meet, and I'm just well, gluing sorry. my lovers on. And continuing to meet too. We meet new new ones every time. Every day. Every time. Yeah, you, know, you, Jessica. Yes, I know. I was just gonna say, yep, ex yep, perfect. I can't, I can't really. Otherwise, I'd be repeating what you just said. <laughs> yes, I know. absolutely. Well, and when it's, I learn to make cards, you'll be my. I'll have to share with you. <laughs> yes, please, please share your cards with me. Send me one. I want one. Actually, I, I, I want. <laughs> okay. Since I inspired you, I need your first card. It's, it's you did inspire me. You really <laughs> did. I love all the ones you've made. Okay. So now we have, where's my little, okay. So this is the, I got a little, got a little something on there. I got a little something on my, on my railing, a little silver paint, but you know what? No worries. I, maybe, maybe that's a little, uh, a baby wipe. Yeah, there we go. Baby wipes. All right. I got a lot of baby wipes, right? All right, so this piece actually just glues right on top of this piece uh, where the trees are. Super cute. Chris okay. Harding does have a question. She said, what brand paint did you use? Um, I am a paint couture retailer, and so I will use a lot of paint couture paint. Um, which most of this that I'm using right now is paint couture, but I also love the colored metallics from pent art yes so if i'm using a metallic paint it's pent art and then the, the more flat paints are pink couture so that's what i use so you've got more stuff to stick down i've got the center of my tires and then we got to snow it up right definitely snowing it up snowing it up are you using the snow pins or the ice crystal all pins all of it all of it all of the above all of it this is good this is a crazy day this is a crazy day i don't know what to do i don't know what to say i'm excited because it's gonna look so snowy and wintry and perfect yes. and i have glitter too oh no we can't do glitter oh, and snow can we can't do that yeah we right, can't do snow without so glitter <laughs> to me this is where the magic happens yes it does um, Probably. Yeah, Linda, that snow you can deal with. Linda was in in the snowstorm of the century in New York. Yes, she was. They got hit pretty hard. All I'm right, so I'm just that. imagining um, a how snow will hit a tree, right? Like how will snow lay on a tree? And I'm just adding, <laughs> snow. just adding some snow. The Gen nice. P's creation said they buy so many white baby wipes, they think they run a daycare. I know, right? That's exactly <laughs> what happens there. They have discovered baby wipes for crafting, but <laughs> they really, maybe they had stock in it first, right? I hope they did. Because us crafters have taken over the baby, baby wipe market. <laughs> you are it's definitely snowing that true. up. You are definitely snowing it up. Yeah. You gotta snow it up, baby. And it gives it some depth too, doesn't it? it does. Some, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, it all. I left the lid off of it, so it's mad at me because I was not nice to my product. Yeah. So I, I, it clogged it a little bit, but it's it's doing good. So we're doing that do as I say, not as I do kind of thing, Don't right? Don't leave here. your lid off. Don't leave the lid off. Don't leave the lid off the snow pin. Denise wow. buys her baby buys her baby wipes in bulk. Yeah, my daughter's <laughs> Costco, so I need to have her just buy them at Costco for me. <laughs> we need some snow on the house, don't y'all agree? Well, if it's on the trees, it's got to be on the house. Yes, and, and, right? hey Linda, 
Y'all, Linda, you're having flashbacks, girl. <laughs> like, Linda's probably like, oh, gosh. Good afternoon, <laughs> Ruby Crampton. How you doing? I lived in Alaska, hey, though. I, I was very accustomed to snow. Are you going to snow those trees that are on the truck? Yeah. We're not we, I, we're we're curious. We don't know where you're going with the snow. Yeah, snowing everything up. Got to have snow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it's I'm gonna snow, snow all down here too. I'm gonna do that with a brush, though. I think you are. Which yeah. one? The trees on the truck. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm gonna snow everything. <laughs> and then I'm gonna glitter it, y'all. Uh, again, just too much. <laughs> <laughs> Never too much, right? <laughs> this is too much for color TV. Okay. Too much. I do want to put some red dots though, because I feel like my wreath is boring right there. See, yeah, my wreath is yes, kind of boring. You definitely need some red dots. So let me. Wow. Now that you turned it around, we can actually see what you did. I know, right? Yeah. Listen, y'all, if you haven't tried the Pen Art snow pens and snow paste and all that stuff, I'm just taking the end of a brush, dipping it in red paint. Pretty good trick. And right there. doing dots for my berries on my wreath. Yep. That's all. That's it. Super simple project, you guys. But you can make it as much or as little as you want. But you know, I like I like one thing I love as a as a crafter is I love when somebody is scared and they feel like they can't do a project and then they do it and they're like, Oh my gosh, I didn't know I could do that. Well that would be me. I'm scared all the time. But I love that. But but I don't I don't ever do it. I don't ever do anything. I'm going to take that way about metallic. Alex. I'm sorry. This is metallic green, and I'm just going to brush Ooh. some of it on my little trees here because I'm just wanting to give them some depth. Ooh. Before I snow it up, so you can see that. See, Ooh. I just wanted to give them a little, a little bling. Yeah. So this is pet art. And that's just a powder. Oh yeah. No, it's a, it's a paint. It's called sparkling gel. Have you not seen this? It's amazing. I guess I haven't seen that one. No. Oh, oh look and look, so they that. got blue sparkling gel. Oh my gosh. No, I, 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 I got to have them all. I, I'm yeah, you got to get them. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're amazing. Man. Okay. So now I am going to take and get me, I want kind of a firmer brush. Let me see if I got one here. And I'm going to take, this is snow crystal paste and this is ice crystal paste. And I thought I brought my snow paste, but apparently I did not, but that's okay. We're going to use the snow crystal paste first. And we're going to yeah. add some. Is there yeah. a certain way you should use them or does it really matter um, um, in what layers you use the different types of snow effects? Well, I, here's what I think. So this, um, this has a little bit of a white base to it and this has a transparent base. So if you oh. use the ice crystal paste and then you put the snow crystal paste over it, you just kind of undid what your intention was for this one. Okay. Okay, totally makes sense. Okay, okay, so it would kind of matter. Plus, it depends on what kind of effect you're going for. Okay, right. okay, right. Maybe we want some on the wheels, of course, right? And maybe we want some on the truck. Yeah, because it because it, if it was once driving, then yeah, you know, the snow would be yeah, yeah, on the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so can never have too much snow. There's a story behind this truck. Except for Linda Baker said you can't have you can't have too much snow. Yeah, Linda says you can't have too much snow. <laughs> There's some. Okay, so I do want to say I, I'm a big fan of the ice crystal, but I also feel like there's a place for white. Um, what do I do with my white? Oh, here it is. So y'all remember that dry brush technique I did? Um, I really feel like that dry brushing for a snow effect is the best way to go. So like on these trees, if you just dry brush them a little bit, I feel like that gives you, I don't know. I just like to dry brush for snow effect too on colors, if that makes sense. It does, it does make does. sense because otherwise you lose the image, you know, the tree. Yeah. If you were to, yeah. yeah, makes sense. Hello, Nicole. Welcome. Good to have you. Thank you for coming in. 
And as always, don't forget, like the video, share it, and tag a friend. You might um, have a chance to win a goodie bag at the end. Woo! Y'all got to win the goodie don't bag. Forget. Don't forget. We're doing great on time. We still have 25 minutes. I mean. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I'll get to that one yet. That would be great. At least part of it. Any questions? Um, Y'all got any questions about this? I mean, it's super easy project. Um, I'm traveling today um, with family, so I wanted to, I had to bring everything with me, but I still wanted to do this because I, I was like, gosh, it's such a great opportunity. And Jessica's so cool. <laughs> Aww. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking Ron is pretty cool too, because Miss Linda Baker said, don't let him fool you. He did good when he did a live. So, Mr. Ron, does this mean <laughs> you did a live and I missed out on this? I need a repeat. We have to redo it. it, it it's on our it's on our website that live. <laughs> and that's, actually, it's it's password protected, so only a few people can. No, I'm just kidding. It's not it's a <laughs> rock and roll stage one. <laughs> yeah, I did a I did a Beatles um, live there, and uh, I, I mean it was all right. Yeah. When he made, he made the Beatles, Ron does all the cricket stuff because I don't like to do the cricket stuff. You know, the cricket, like the silhouette thing, whatever. I don't like yeah. to do that. So yeah. he does all that. So we made a Beatles table. We will be doing one with a velvet Elvis here really soon. Y'all, that snow pin makes all the difference on those trees. All the difference. Look at that truck. Look at that truck. Yeah. Yeah. The depth yeah. on the truck that was created with the the snow and the wreath and the headlights and everything. Amazing. Yeah. Really and so cool. on a small scale, you know, this started out to be just plain old, plain old like this. And then with just a piece, just a piece of decoupage paper, it's a whole different thing, right? Absolutely. It really like, it makes the piece. Like, yes. yeah. I, it, yeah, no, the DQ paper really dressed it up. Just painting it, it wouldn't have the same effect. <laughs> yep. No. I agree. No. People, people are loving your, your accent, sweetheart. Oh. Y'all, you put in there. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I am from Georgia, so... And I'm, I'm going to take some black and I'm going to work on my bow a little bit, you know, before I just want to like take my markers, which I didn't bring with me and I'll work on my little bow. But anyway, it's it, it's plain. So I want to jazz it up, too. So I'm going to let this dry and then I may come back with some ice crystal paste on that. I think we really want to see the ice crystal paste. I'm going to go ahead and put the ice crystal paste. Oh, yeah. this is snow crystal. Hold yeah, on. we want to see the difference right there. I'm going to put some of this on the house. Yeah. Good idea. And it just gives it a little bit of sparkle. And I'll dry it with the dryer so you can see what I'm talking about. If you haven't invested in these um, pen art um, snow paste. Snow. Oh, my God. Snow pens, yeah. ice crystal pens. Those are amazing things. They really are. They make Christmas all the better. I'm just saying. Yeah. You can tell it up close. You can tell the difference in the uh, in the two in the snow and the ice. Yeah. The sparkliness of the ice versus the whiteness of the snow. It just highlights it a little bit. It yeah, dries glittery and transparent. It does dry glittery. Yeah. And so I I'm gonna dry this. <laughs> I love all things glitter, sparkle, and fun. Well, hello, Miss Mary right Jo. Here. It's happening right here, right now. <laughs> It makes me happy. Um, just so you know. Yes. Just yes. yeah. You just oh, throw glitter at me. I'll be like, ah, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> uh. Listen, those cards you made out of the um L and J Goods papers, girl, amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Cause it's it I was trying to think outside the box of of how people would, would use the papers, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that's why I mean, I, you know, I tried to do something a little different than you definitely so, really outside the box. I really, really, it, it really means a lot. It really does. Aww, I love what you're you. doing today. My eyeballs are like drooling. I'm just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me dry this a little bit. So this will be a little bit loud, but I want y'all to see what it looks like. And then we'll add a little bit of glitter. But you got to have glitter. Oh, yes. Glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to pull this up so they can see it. As it dries, you'll see it start to glitter more because it gets translucent. So just give me a minute and I'll get this dry. Absolutely. Not a problem. Of course we can give you a minute. We're doing amazing on time. I mean, oh my goodness. I am Good. I am well, I'm going away. Making some magic happen here today. Magic. And of course, you can find this rice paper on on the website or if you are anywhere else there there is a link to the retailers and there's tons of retailers i was actually blown away by how many retailers there are out there it's really amazing thank you to all of you, you retailers thank you guys thank you for the supports absolutely amazing every single one of you and thank you today miss robin for being here with us and inspiring us today and like you know blowing us away here oh it's amazing it's a creative Saturday. I'm so happy. And it sparkles. It sparkles. <laughs> it's really my pleasure. I it do. does take it just a minute to dry, but we're getting there. You can take some of the glitter, though. Yeah. Yep. I, I can see it. Yep. Absolutely. So I'm sure they can see. Yeah. Like with the different angle. Yeah. You can see how the light, like it's giving it more dimension as you're drying it too. Like you can literally see the dimension happen, if that makes sense. Yeah. Now I think I'm gonna add glitter just to my snow part down here that's on the ground, not to this up here, because I feel like I have enough going on up here. I agree. I agree with that, yeah. Yeah. So I am going to, so one thing I wanna say is if you are going to put this um, outside, you need to seal all sides with a um, marine grade top coat. Um, and I have, my paint line has one called Extreme Guard that I used um, that is a marine grade, non yellowing, UV protection, all the goodness, right? Um, and I'm just gonna use it actually as a medium also for my, um, for my glitter. <laughs> Because it's what I have with me. So it's multi-purpose. Yeah. So I will seal all this. Um, I'm not going to put glitter in the window. I don't know why yeah. I don't seal that. But it's okay. So I'm just putting some medium down, whatever you like that your uh, glitter will stick to. And I am using German glass glitter. Um, that's a uh, sheer frost. So look at, oh my gosh, y'all. So whatever you like, you can glitter up with that. And this just makes it look like, you know, when those of you who live in like winter climates, you know, snow glistens like glitter to me. Yes, when it, it does. Lays. We've definitely got yes, a winter wonderland going on here. Yeah, we do. Winter wonderland. With the, with the moonlight. And the, ah, ah, I'm sorry. Oh, ah. I'm trying not to scream too much, but I love it. <laughs> I know. Oh my so goodness. you can do as much or little as you want. See, this was a boring old crap kit, right? Let's show the paper one more time. Have you got that paper handy so we can see that paper where all this began? Yeah. So um, began as this paper. Yeah, and this is the A3 size, and oh. that's the, that's where it all began. And I have enough left over to do my little ornament that I have. Um, I'm not gonna probably not gonna have time on the live to do it. But um, I'm going to, I have enough, here's how much of the paper I have left here. So I'm going to use that. Use that to go on that background. Yes. Yes, actually I did it. So let me just, let me just, I'll show y'all. I'll get this off and we have time to do that. Yeah, we, uh, you blew that, you put that down. In your yeah, I use my decoupage medium Got that down. Right. But then y'all can kind of see. It's going to be like driving through the forest, and this, of course, will get glittered up too because <laughs> it's snowing. And the Christmas trees, the Christmas lights on these uh, glitter paste, the ice crystal paste, and all that is amazing. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> and that old tool you're using is pretty cool too. Yeah, I got this at Lowe's, or I think you can get it on, get them on Amazon. Too. You can. Yeah. This is thanks to Lynn at L and J's Goods. She had one of these, and I messaged her and I said, "Where did you get that thing? Like, I need that. I think everybody's got one now." No, I You've think got we have all three. kinds of compliments. Everybody is just like, "It's magical. It's nice. It's adorable." They love the glitter and yeah, you just get all kinds of compliments. So now you can imagine transferring this truck over to this and glittering this up really nicely, which I may glitter this and then put my truck on it. So it's glittered well. Would it stick if you, once you glittered it? Yeah, with, um, you could use, um, you could use a, the, what is that pen art? Heavy body gel. Heavy body gel, right? It, right. Stick to it. it yeah. sticks to everything, right? <laughs> Yeah. All right. So we're still good on time. Um, 15 minutes. Yeah, we still have about 15 minutes. I mean, uh, unless you're unless you're good, I mean, we can't. I mean, it's totally up to you. It's up to you. Well, um, yeah, I'm good, I think, because this just would be a repeat impetitive to do the ornament. But I can definitely post the ornament once I'm done with it. Um, but it's going to be the exact same process. Are there any, any questions for... Yeah. And I do want to show y'all what you can do with this. Hang on, bring this up so you can see. So this is just a round. It's a 10 inch round, right? So I definitely. Wow. So this is just a wreath, right? So if you take these rounds and you nestle them in your wreath, right? Like oh this. My Hold on. And We're holding. We're holding. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm going to nestle it in here. I think you're nestled it, yes. Without, without, okay, there we go. See that? And then I could go to the, I could do a big red plaid bow on here, and I could get me some red ornaments to complement my truck, and then I've got a door reef that's super cool. Wow, yes, mm -hmm. Sue said it perfectly, wow. I wouldn't have thought to put that in a wreath. And I used to be a wreath maker a while back. I love <laughs> making wreaths. I burnt myself out on them is truly what happened. I, I got yes, burnt out. Yes. Yeah. But well, that's I mean, amazing. I perfect. love it. That's beautiful. Good. Yeah. So now I can jazz up my wreath in addition to my Merry Christmas truck. Oh, wow. Everybody is just <laughs> loving your idea. I mean, I'm, yeah. Yep. Good. Good. Yep. Well, well, if anybody has questions, I can hang on for a minute. No hurry, but I think I've covered everything. I used glitters and snow paste and metallic paints and all the fun stuff. Yep, you sure did. You definitely did. And you opened my eyes to the um sparkle paints or, or yeah. the, yes. Yes. The, so I'm gonna have to look into those now. Thanks, Robin. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're that. welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't, like if you if you have a wood truck or something, just another idea, but you don't have the letters, these are those holly molds from um, the IOD molds. And you could, instead of Merry Christmas, you could paint, this is perfect for a 10-inch round. You could use that and say Merry Christmas. Man, you were coming up with yeah. some great ideas here. So, and you could you sparkle. Yeah, the the i the ivy. That's a beautiful piece of ivy in that mold. Um, I'm not. A, I don't do sell iod. But I love it. I don't. I don't sell iod, but I. No, I okay. them. Yeah. They are that that Christmas release. Oh my goodness! They blew it out of the water this year, didn't they? Yes. And, and y'all, those are going fast. I know they they're sold out in a at a lot of retailers, but you know, check out the retailers link and see if you can find those. Cause they're, yeah, those molds are going. Yeah. Like the LeBlanc is selling out crazy too. Those were great. The Christmas release of LeBlanc were amazing. I do those, but yeah, yeah. those have been crazy. We have a, um, a crafty friend. She, she took those molds and she just, she owned them. I was just like, wow, really the Santa and like she, how she painted it and everything. I was just like, oh my goodness. I yeah. wish I had patience for that. I don't yeah. have to paint individually like that. <laughs> yeah. One thing about the snow paste too, you guys, the, the snow paste, you can take a brush and brush it on this and snow up your reef. It's not just for wood and cards. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to I'm trying to figure out how to put up our um wheel here. That's what I'm trying to do. We get our wheel of names. Wheel of names. Let's see. Is that one going to do it? Oh. Man, what happened? See, I was telling you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to spin the wheel of names. And let's see. Let's see. Who is it today? We've got Miss Joy Elizabeth Brotz. Miss Joy oh, yeah. Elizabeth Brotz. Yeah. You are the winner today. Nice you job. are the winner today. Nice job, Congratulations. And when we're done here, email Aveta at decoupagequeen.com to claim your goodie bag prize. Um, it is, again, it, it is in the banner at the bottom. So if you want to write it down really quick, Go ahead and jot it down so that way you can get out your email so you can get your goodie bag. Yay. Can't wait to see what she gets. It would be awesome if you would take a photo of your goodie bag and share it with us. You don't have to. You don't. But I'd love to see it. And I think Me some too. other people would like to see it too. Just just because then I feel like I'm getting a goodie bag. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But when somebody shows me their goodie bag, I feel like I'm getting a goodie bag because then I just get to look at all the goodies. Exactly. <laughs> I feel the same way. I get excited. I'm just like, oh, look at all the goodies. <laughs> Piece of candy. <laughs> well, it was an absolute pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure being here with you today, uh, Robin. Thank you. Thank you, you for, too. especially you being away from your craft room and you still came in like a pro. You owned it. Owned it like thank a pro. You. Well, I, you. I wanted to do it. So I'm so glad that I could. And I'm so glad that my daughter's mother-in-law has this amazing craft room. I may have to come back here. It worked out. It totally worked out. See, it was meant to be. It was meant yeah. to be. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you, everybody, for coming by and um, joining us today. And we hope you have it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and be creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Bye, everybody.